Hey everyone. That's creepy. Hello again, it's a new week, new gospel. You remember the story at Passover, when Jesus and his 12 disciples gathered around the table for Passover dinner, and he raised the bread and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body. Then in the same way, he raised the cup of wine and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is my blood, which will be given up for you. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was sitting at that table, I'd be like, ah, thanks, Peter. Yeah. Sorry, you're what? What does this mean? Well, for Catholics, it means what Jesus says it means. You know that moment in Mass when the priest lifts up the piece of bread and he says, this is my body that's been given up for you. And he lifts up the chalice with wine and he says, this is my blood which has been given up for you. In those moments, the deepest mysteries of our faith are presented right in front of us. And the bread becomes Jesus' body in the Eucharist. And the wine, his blood. Okay, why? Why did Jesus make himself this small to fit inside of our hands? It is because he wants to be with us. Did you know that in the Eucharist, Jesus' whole body, blood, soul, and divinity is present? When you were looking at the Eucharist, you were looking at Jesus. And if you've experienced Eucharistic adoration, you are experiencing the true presence of Jesus. You are looking into the eyes of Christ. We need Jesus every day. Jesus wasn't a dude that lived thousands of years ago and that we kind of like talk about and we read about him. We need him and he wants to be with us. And when we receive the Eucharist, we are receiving the true presence of Christ, the real Jesus. And so this Sunday is Corpus Christi, the feast day. We celebrate the gift of the Eucharist. And although right now we can't receive it into our bodies, we can receive him into our souls and into our hearts. So do that. What do you see when you look into the great mystery of the Eucharist?